G'day DIY Pool Legends. Well, today we're going to be talking about what happens when your beautiful LED light goes kaput and it doesn't want to play anymore and stops working. Fortunately, these days, well, certainly with the astral lights anyway, you don't have to drain your pool to replace the lights like you used to do with the old halogen lights. Main reason for that is there's cable spooled up in behind the light fitting that allows you to change everything over above the water line. Now, depending on what part you get sent out, sometimes you may get an entire light sent out, other times you'll just get the lamp. But let's assume that this is the lamp that's currently in your pool. Well, the first thing you're going to do is undo the three screws that are holding the lamp onto the fitting that is actually on the opposite side uh, or the back side of your fiberglass pool. So you can see that cable that I was talking about uh, that is spooled up inside the fitting. So that just uncoils as you take it out, lift it above the water line, and let's just assume that you've now been in the pool, you've hopped out of the pool, and you need to take the old lamp off so you can replace it with the new lamp. Super easy again, grab your screwdriver and undo the two screws that is actually connecting the power into your LED lamp. It's just a simple plug and play socket with two screws to gently hold it into place. So that's your lamp. That's basically what your old lamp's gonna look like and it's also what your new lamp's gonna look like when you take it out of the box. So to replace the lamp, you're gonna grab the end of your cable and it's as simple as reversing the process. Now, this is our good friend's Astral's test tank, so we didn't have to hold our breath in the middle of water in uh, winter and get into a freezing pool, but it's gonna be exactly the same process if this is your pool at home. So fit that plug and play fitting, put the two screws in. You don't have to go nuts on the pressure. It's just firm, but nothing more than that. You don't want to put a micro crack into the fitting. Now, really important, you can see where it has the word top written. That's what you want to line up with the top of your fitting on your pool, just to make sure that the three screws line up nice and evenly got that aligned then just need to feed that spooled up cable into that fitting exactly as you can see here just pushes in nice and easy doesn't need anything fancy and now it's time to get the screws back into the replacement lamp there's so many different ways to go about well how do you do this if it's in the pool uh, we've heard of everything from people using uh, scuba weight belts to mask and snorkel to having your kids uh, sitting on your shoulders to keep you held underwater while you get everything screwed in um, definitely have a set of goggles or something so you can see where you're going it's going to make life a lot easier and that's it uh, on goes your light and you've got your beautiful leds back up and running uh, this is a beautiful bondi pool with led lit water bubblers and and leds in the pool you can just see how fantastic it is this is how it should look. This is how great pool should be. But most importantly, if your lamp does break, you can see just how easy it is to replace. It's a light globe at the end of the day. It's inevitable that it's going to need replacing. It's just that easy to do, so you never have to worry about it. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel. Please let your, your mates and other DIY legends know about uh, our videos. It really helps spread the word and prevents people from making mistakes, which is the main aim of the game. Thanks so much for watching. All the best with your installed DIY pool legends, and we'll talk to you next time.